Good day, folks, and welcome back to Mike's Radio Repair and Restoration. Today, we're going to be looking at Precision Apparatus Company's Model 612 Tube Tester. Now, I'm not big on tube testers. Um, the vast majority of them out there are uh, just basic emission testers, and they really won't test tube running at 25 megahertz. So you really have no idea if the tube is really good. But as so far as emission testers go, this is a fairly good one. Um, it'll certainly give you a go, no go, gassy, short. Um, it'll do a bunch of basic tests. And it'll give you a place to start. And if the tube tests okay in this, you can put it in the radio and take it to the next step. Or um, if you have, a, <clears throat> say, audio is a little bit distorted, you can pump the audio tube in here and give it, give it a quick check and see what it, uh, it, how it performs. Um, I got lucky and I picked up this one very affordably from uh, another gent uh, who's downsizing his collection. He's getting on in years, and uh, I picked up several interesting pieces of uh, uh, gear from him yesterday. So uh, this is one of the more interesting ones, and there's others that are going to come. So we're going to take a look at this. Uh, I know from dealing with these models in the past, there's one wax paper capacitor inside. So I want to see if that's been changed. And if not, we will change it. I want to put a new uh, line cord on it. And of course, we want to clean up all of the dials and sliders and switches and whatnot. And I know there's oh about 10 resistors inside that are insofar as tube testing that we should look at and test. And if they're out of range, we'll replace them. And there's a bunch of other resistors that are for battery testing, which we don't really do, so I'm not going to bother with those too much. So uh, let's take a look at this unit. Okay, the case is a little bit beat up. Some of the uh, veneer is lifting a little bit here and there. That could be glued down and another coat put on. I know another guy did a YouTube video on one where he completely put on a new top and bottom and did a whole bunch of work, which was really nice. But I think for me, it would be just to glue the veneer down, give it a sand, throw another coat of urethane on it so that it lives for another 50 or 100 years. Let's have a look, see here now. Okay, typical tube tester. Um, lots of knobs, buttons, and dials to play with, and it's got a built-in tube catalog that tells you how to put all your settings uh, for each tube. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, looks fairly quality. So let's, um, before we crack this thing open, let's take a look at the schematic so we know what we're dealing with. Well, it looks pretty straightforward. Um, very much unlike a, a shortwave radio, this unit only has one capacitor here that we need to worry about. Maybe somebody in the past has changed it in this unit. Maybe not, but I got to check it out. So these are all of the uh, battery testing resistors that I'm not really going to worry about. But these, uh, you know, the R9 through R13, uh, R4, uh, R6, 7 and 8 and all these. I'm, I'm going to check these out. There's another one. There are three um, that I'm going to uh, I'm going to check out just to make sure that they're okay. And of course, we're going to clean up all the contacts and lube the switches and all those types of things. So this is pretty simple. Um, their parts list is here. Is listed R12. If you come over to list, it says there are you R12. There you are. There is 2K. So it's pretty straightforward parts list. Pretty straightforward diagram. Has one tube. 5Y3 rectifier. Uh, this is just a neon light here, so we'll have a look at the 5Y3, see how it's doing. And uh, I guess the uh, next step will be to crack this puppy open. As expected, here is our one wax paper capacitor that has to be changed. This unit is all original. It doesn't look like anybody's been in here hacking or chewing it, which is nice. Nice to get a a piece of equipment that's not been molested. So the procedure to me, for me, looking through this, is to go with a cleaner on all the contacts. I'm going to change this uh, capacitor. I just so happen to have a 630 volt point one that's gonna fit in there just nicely. We'll be checking the 5Y3. I'll be putting a new pilot lamp in it. 
Now, as I said, cleaning all of the controls. Also, the uh, the uh, rotary for the uh, tube uh, library here is uh, in need of a little service and lubrication. And uh, we'll put a new line cord on it. Even though this one's not bad, it's not a polarized plug. I'd be much more comfortable installing a, uh, a polarized plug and having the uh, power go directly to the fuse and the switch first. So uh, I'm going to uh, call this video done for now. So I'm going to get that done. There are some real simple things about soldering in this, check some capacitors, do some cleaning, no big deal. And uh, we'll come back uh, and fire it up in the next video. So um, if you uh, enjoy our series of videos, please take time subscribe uh, we could really use the uh, the boost to the community so until the next one we'll see you then